Hey guys, welcome to the Joe Show. So a lot of people have asked, um, now that I have a torque converter, how do I maintain it? Well, it depends on what you have. Certainly, if you have a bolt-together torque converter like our EV1 or EV2 or Gen X series, uh, you would maintain that like you would any other part in your, in your vehicle. Um, if you, your normal services is once a year, freshen it up, um, you take everything apart, we offer a freshen up kit for it. Um, you can replace the consumables, bearings, washers, O-rings, uh, th that type of thing. Uh, make sure that when you're ready for the beginning of the season, everything is, is right. Of course, if you have a failure or you have a, a, an issue or a, a, a breakage, trans breaks, that's the benefit of a bolt-together torque converter. You can open it up, you can clean it out, you can inspect it, you can freshen it, you can replace those parts. Uh, as for the weld-together series converters, uh, many people have asked, well, wh when do I send the torque converter in for service? And that's a little more complicated of a question because it really depends on what your program is like, and you do have to send the torque converter in to us. So when you do send the torque converter in, and uh, you have to evaluate a couple of things. Number one, um, how many runs do I have on the torque converter? What does the fluid look like in the torque converter? Have I had any transmission failure? Uh, is there any contamination in the, in the fluid? And that'll kind of tell you, you know, hey, is it time for a freshen up? Uh, we know many people have gone several years. As long as the oil is clean, there's no failures, there's no contamination, there's no need to do it. Um, especially with a brand of torque converter like Pro Torque, and especially the Revolution Series, they're very durable. They've got all the features. They should handle a long time uh, of service. Um, with that being said, if you have had failures, uh, or you want to do a stall change, or you want to do an adjustment, you send us the torque converter, we'll go through the process of what's called a freshen up. And the freshen up consists of we'll open the torque converter up, we'll replace the consumable parts, O-rings, washers, bearings, what, whatever, ha whatever needs to be uh, replaced. Uh, we'll bring the torque converter back up to uh, factory specifications. We'll, we'll check the sizing on the hub. We'll check the sizing on the parts. We'll make the torque converter come back to original uh, uh, um, serv service. With that being said, if you're going to send a torque converter in, there's a procedure. We ask that you go ahead and uh, look through our paperwork. You can find it online or you may have it w with the original purchase. It's a torque converter service form. That tells us, hey, this is what it's here for. This is who it belongs to. Um, if you want to make a stall adjustment, you write that information down. You, you can find that form either on our website or you can contact one of our techs. They'll email it to you. Um, and once we get it in, we'll call you. We'll, we'll take a look at it. We'll do the inspection, and then we'll go from there. Thank you very much.